doing all the things cool all right happy spring equinox everyone on um, friends and family um Today is the first day that I have not been isolating. I actually went outside just to breathe the air. Um, and of course get flowers because, you know, it made me feel better. Why not make a crown when I'm in quarantine? <laughs> but in any regard, I'm just sitting here, chilling. Having some tea, drinking some carrot juice. I love carrot and aloe juice. Um, and I'm gonna start with the meditation after I drink some tea. So, why do we want to use a meditation on Equinox? Well, um, things are obviously shifting a lot right now. And during an equinox, we have this interesting time with the structure of the planets and the way that it is reacting with the Earth. We have this time that we can carry on this wave of um, pattern for six months until the next equinox, which is like generally around September 21st, um, plus or minus three days. And so spring is the most powerful um, of the year it's the new year of the zodiac and astrology is a reflection of um, the psyche and that's how we read into it as it is the psyche of what is happening in the world is the psyche of what's happening within us and what is unlocked um, individually and collectively and so do limit your distractions um, make sure that your phone is on silent make sure that you're giving yourself some space because we're gonna go in pretty deep and um, this is meant for you to find ground and centeredness there's a lot of information that's being impelled to everyone and there's a lot of decisions that have to be made and sometimes making decisions in uncertain times is really um, troublesome. Okay. <clears throat> I am getting pinged for questions somewhere but I cannot see it. So sit somewhere comfortable. If you can hear me, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. Getting yourself really aligned with this day. This meditation is to help with the fatigue that is on your mind. Um, it is to help with this underlying sense of fear and panic and so in your comfortable seat close your eyes roll your shoulders down your back loosen your jaw Focus on your breathing. Do through three deep breaths. Let your breathing come back to normal as you find yourself deeper and deeper, relaxing. Letting the muscle fibers in your body relax. Letting the mind go thoughtless.
I want you to visualize your brain as if you're putting it on top of a turquoise lake. <laughs> and you're letting it sink below the surface. You're letting your mind sink into nourishing waters. And you're going to allow the magnetic magnetism that happens in your brain naturally from its electricity. You're going to allow the magnitude of your mind shift. And in that, hold light within your heart and breathe in light. Just allow the space for the shift to come within your mind. If there's anything in your life, if there's any patterns that you want to unwind or you want to undo, now is the time to set the parameters of how you want your relationships to be, how you want your community to show up, what part you want to play in this time in human history. Do not forget that right now the earth is regenerating. There is prosperity. There is abundance, there are resources that are replenishing themselves right now. And you are your greatest resource. All the restaurants, all the bars, all the office work, an illusion. And society is seeing that illusion, but you know who you are every time you sit with yourself. You speak to your soul. Keep breathing. Keep your eyes closed and focused upwards on the third eye, right between the eyes. So your eyes are closed and focused inward and up. Your shoulders are relaxed and roll down your back. Just keep breathing really deeply and keep imagining your mind shifting through the magne magnetic field and through the light that you're breathing into your heart, you will also magnetize the events, the people, the situations that you need to move forward and thrive. When you're ready, inhale, hold it, and exhale really deeply. And as you inhale, you're going to take your fists, and you're going to put it right at your thymus, and you're going to press, testing your lungs. Exhale, one more time, inhale, press against the chest, 
holding your breath and exhale through the mouth okay a bunch of you jumped on right after i finished the meditation mm, that's funny so <clears throat> i'm going to go into what the stars are about today um and again we get to change ourselves during an equinox and again this change is solidified within six months um of course of course we can be dealing with the after effects of um this virus and the economy and on our government for um six months it's gonna be a while um, I'm sure that we will be like out and about. I don't think that we're going to be quarantined forever. I'm not saying that, but I am saying that um, our government failed. <laughs> well, we're trying, but the economy failed because people got sick. The economy failed because people got sick. That's all. And so what do we do today? Today, it's more important than ever than <clears throat> it's more important than ever to go outside. Go outside for yourself. The earth is replenishing. Um, today, we want to see that the earth is pregnant with alternate futures. You have this capacity to pick the future that you want and what it's going to take is releasing any idea of what it's supposed to be. It's almost just having and finding that place within yourself that is this steadfast level of trust that you have with the situations outside of yourself. Y'all are all grown. <clears throat> you ought to know yourself well enough that you can get yourself out of any situation that you can thrive. That you can make things work. And now you're able to make things work more on your own terms. It's a time that requires a lot of patience and discipline and acceptance. Acceptance to change without disruption. If there's a relationship that ends, let it go. <clears throat> there's so much that's coming to closure right now. That example is just more of that, you know, you don't have to draw out any endings right now. You can't. You have to keep going forward and you have to stay centered and you can't allow yourself to be agitated. As you go through today, just know that today is a day that you can really move mountains and things are moving beyond your own eye. And it's going to be like this for, for 24 hours and so you have to be so diligent with your thoughts. You have to be so diligent with your actions. You have to kind of go the extra mile. You cannot cut corners today. Um, and just remember that release, that knowing that something's going to come up, that you will be able to figure out how to get to the next step that comes from such a trust within you. And, um, that's not something that I could teach you. You have to know it from your own self with your own like uh, spiritual hygiene, physical hygiene, 
um, mental hygiene and spiritual hygiene at this time for sure. If there's not any questions, I'm going to get going. I will be here tomorrow, same time. And look forward to my blog post a little bit later, uh, restating what I talked about earlier in case you missed it. So safe travels and stay healthy, my friends. I love you all.